Brothers in Arms is all about authentic, squad-based fire and maneuver military tactics. To be victorious, you must use your squad to suppress and flank the enemy. In this scenario, we have two teams under our control. To issue a move order, simply press and hold the command button. Doing this will bring up the command ring icon. We can move the icon by looking around. Set up there! When the command button is released, a move order is issued telling the team to go to that position. To order the other team into position, simply press the switch team button and issue another move order with the command button. Take cover there! Notice how your soldiers are smart enough to automatically engage those Germans taking cover behind the stone wall. To get a better view of the battlefield, press the Situational Awareness View button. Paratroopers in World War II had the benefit of studying their terrain prior to a mission. In Brothers in Arms, we use Situational Awareness View to give us a better view of the battlefield to plan our attack. You can change the camera focus between friendly and enemy units. You can zoom in for a closer look and rotate the camera as you examine your tactical options. In this scenario, you can observe an excellent flanking opportunity. If you move a fire team around the outside of the wall on the left, you can flank the opposition. To return to the action, hit the Situational Awareness View button again. Ordering your team leaders to fire tells them to focus as much firepower as possible on the selected target. Doing this is similar to a move order. Press and hold the command button while looking at an enemy target. Release the command button while the enemy is targeted to issue the fire command. It's vital to use your squad to fire on the enemy and keep the enemy pinned down. An enemy under heavy fire cannot maneuver and cannot return fire. This is called suppression. This creates a condition to safely move your men. To help you understand the effect of suppressive fire, Brothers in Arms uses a suppression icon with each enemy unit. After you have found an enemy unit, a circle will appear above them. When the circle is red, the enemy is dangerous and can shoot at you or your men when they are exposed. When the circle is completely gray, the enemy is fully suppressed and pinned down. With each shot that goes near the enemy position, the red circle is emptied. Make sure to use the fire command with your squad to pin the enemy down before moving to their flanks. The enemy is now suppressed. Ordering the fire team to flank the enemy is as simple as using the move command. To flank an enemy, we order our other fire team to move to the end of the wall where they have cover, but the enemy will be exposed. Notice how your soldiers are smart enough to flank and finish the enemy. This demonstration showed how to use authentic military tactics to win at Brothers in Arms. First, you want to find the enemy. It's always good to find him first. Next, you want to fix him. You want to fix him with all the firepower you have. The third F is to flank him. You want to move an element to his flank, left, right, or rear. Finally, you want to finish him. And to finish him, you need an assault element to get in close and take him down with either fire or direct assault. Okay, soldier, you're as ready as we can make you. Enjoy playing Brothers in Arms.